I'm here right now with a uh, Japanese native, Jack Kai. <laughs> Huge shout out to Daily Puzzles for sponsoring this vlog. They've got an amazing range of speed cubes and accessories with cheap and fast shipping whether you live in or out of Australia. Use code TINGMAN in the checkout for 10% off your entire order. These guys are the bomb. Check them out at dailypuzzles.com.au Well, that was an interesting start to the day. Cubing is such a mind game. I mean, like you need your mind to do it, but also like if your mind, if you're not in the zone, it's so tricky. And those five solves were such a good example of that. Like when I started, I was like panicking that I couldn't find uh, like a good cross solution. And after four pretty terrible solves by my standards for the fifth one, I was just like, oh, whatever. And then I ended up getting my best time. The trick is having that like, whatever, state of mind for solve one. How do you do that? And that muffled sound is the sweet voice of Ed Hollingdale calling uh, for the event that I care about the least. Oh, hey. day in Sydney. What's so odd about Sydney? There are lots of things odd about Sydney. There's a big harbour, there's two sides, there's lots of people, crazy traffic. Can I also take this opportunity to congratulate you, uh, the new president of Speedcube in Australia? There are a lot of people around here who often like, uh, when they, for example, when they go to the post or whatever, they'll do just like a little jig or something, you know, and sometimes they'll even cartwheel. It's quite what? bizarre. Like, you'll never see this kind of thing in Brisbane because Brisbane is a much more normal uh, place. What do you think is the oddest thing about city? Our light rail network um, hasn't been built in years. Yeah, the city kind of got messed up. There you go. Sydney's pretty odd. It's a very odd place. That's a UFO right there. You're getting my hopes like up a lot for this amazing chicken. That has to be good, look at the cube. Look at all the Sydney around me. So much Sydney. That window is Sydney. This is what we waited like five hours for. I give this chicken burger a seven and a half out of 10. Maybe not like, you know, cubable. Well, you know, it's, it's decent. Sydney food. I'm a true local now.
Stop to appreciate how amazing this phone stand is. Right. Some losers pay like, I don't know, $30 for a stand. Meanwhile, I just went to that vegan cafe to ask for a bottle of water and I got severely judged. I could feel the guilt of the turtles being killed by plastic weighing down on me. How was your band? Oh yeah, it was pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome meeting like Japanese tubers and like the community as well. It's pretty interesting as well, yeah. Did you see many people like um, solving with the uh, like the Japanese telescope? Oh, it's, it's some of them. Like some of the, I guess, the more old school keepers, they still yeah. use Japanese telescope. But um, it's kind of weird nowadays, according yeah. to Yeah. What do you say to people who are your age who well, might be a little bit like worried about coming because, you know, they might not feel good enough? Don't worry at all. Like Phoenix said, it's it's always fine. Go to a competition if you can. Always go. It's worth it. It's very good for socializing and lots of other stuff too. Plus, if you didn't have a good first competition, who knows? You could have a bad second. Wisdom. Hello, hello. Can you see the opera house behind me? Yeah. It's really cool. Hey, do you like it? Yeah. I'm just eating dinner. And look, you can even see the harbor bridge in the background. Wow. I know. It was pretty weird being at a comp today without you. For three by three first round, I got 16.5 as an average. And then for my second round, I got a plus two on my one of my 14s. So my three by three was pretty terrible. Not gonna lie, it was pretty hard not thinking about how badly I failed at the event I cared the most about. I knew in my mind that I had so many other solves I could be happy about, but my brain kept focusing on the one bad thing. It sounds so stupid, but it really got me down. But something else happened. This is Ali, the Uber driver who brought me to the opera house. He came to Sydney from Pakistan four years ago. His wife is still there and can only come over when she finishes her studies. He told me of his life back home and how happy he once was when he earned just 500 rupees, the equivalent of less than five Australian dollars. Here in Sydney, he says, people have so much more, but somehow it's never enough. He could even feel it in himself that he was starting to always want more. We talked about how, even though he was a Muslim and I was a Christian, we were brothers and our humanity was so much more important than money. That day, he gave me something far more than just a ride. He gave me perspective. A reminder that there's something more powerful than greed. Gratitude. It's so easy to always be chasing after the next thing and never being thankful about where you are and the people you have. And I guess it needed a trip to Sydney for me to learn that. Are you ready? I got a 3x3 blindfold, 1 minute 39. I know, it's crazy, right? I love you, bye. Well, it's been a pretty odd day in Sydney. But odd days can still be beautiful. 
Thanks for a good calm. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you again to Delhi Puzzles for making this trip possible and just being a really cool company in general. Shopping there not only gets you sweet discounts but also supports me, which is really, really cool. Use Tingman in the checkout for 10% off. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will see you in the next one. So in the airport now, on my way home, and just found out that like half an hour after I left the comp, Felix got a 3x3 world record average. It's been a very odd day indeed. Two hours later. Why do you feel B2M? Why do you feel B2M? Why do you feel B2M?